Wh what's this mean? Remember, guys, always keep your dogs hydrated. Wait, what's that sign say? Hey, how how do you do this? Or fun fact, what's the recommended? Alrighty, guys, welcome to another episode of Real Deal Tips and Tricks. And today, I'm going to show you how to do a pan-fried trout fillet. So, what you're going to need is as many trout fillets as you want. We're going to do two. Some all-purpose flour, uh, garlic powder, minced onion, salt, and pepper for flavoring. I have two lemons and some butter. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your lemons and cut them into four wedges. First you cut the whole lemon in half. Take that half and just cut that in half. Alrighty. So the next step is take your trout fillets, take your lemon, just zest them oh so nicely some lemon juice and that's gonna kill some of that fishy taste that trout have flip them over get another lemon wedge and uh, be careful for seeds you can see we got one right here just take it out and then you're gonna let these uh, sit for a little bit in the lemon juice also make sure you check for uh, rib bones that you may have missed when filleting the fish. So the next step is to take a plate and just load it up with some flour. You take and shimmy it around like that and cover the plate completely. Next we're going to take our garlic powder And just go ahead, sprinkle some of that in there if you want. Take like a handful, just mix it all around. I just like to mix it in until I feel like it's good. Take the minced onions, same thing. Shake them around, not too much. Take just a little uh, palm full of salt. Spread that in, and pepper, just, ooh, that came out too fast. Work that in, and then once again, shake it up so it's all over. And now you have seasoned your flour. You're going to want to turn your oven onto medium-low, and then what you do, take your butter, take a tablespoon, and get about one heaping tablespoon of butter put it on the pan and go ahead and let that simmer for a while while you continue to get your trout prepared Just get yourself a dry plate put it off to the side take your trout fillet drop it in the flour move it around flip it and just do that until you get a nice even coating on the trout fillet if you want you can even take some Sprinkle it on top, make sure you get those sides. Shake off the excess, and it should look something like this. Nice even coating. Some came off on my hand. And then you just move that to your dry plate. Do the same for the second. Alrighty, so after letting your butter heat for a while, it will start to bubble like so. And all you do, take your trout fillet, Carefully lay it into the butter. Make sure it doesn't jump up and splash it. And then you just let it soak. You got these little baby parts of fillets that Drew was able to save. Add them in there. And you can see that they're getting that nice light golden brown color to them. You just go ahead and flip them. And then uh, make sure you move them around, let the new coating side soak up some of that butter.
And then you check the uh, other side. And then basically uh, you get yourself a fork or uh, if you have a meat thermometer, you check the temperature of the fish you want it to be at least I think it's at 160 degrees so uh, I like mine a little crispier so I'm gonna let them cook longer but uh, that's really up to you as the chef slash uh, person eating the food on how you like your trout done so I'm gonna let these cook a little bit longer and really crisp up so then right before they look like they're about to be done, you want to put a lid over your thing for about a minute or two. And what that's going to do, it's going to trap all the heat in and make sure it's fully cooked throughout. You can do this uh, once you start cooking. I left the lid off because it looked like this and I wanted you to see what the trout looks like as it's cooking. Plus uh, these are pretty thin fillets. so. I wasn't really too worried about the centers not cooking, but if you get yourself a nice thick trout, that's definitely something you're going to want to do is have the lid over it at all times. So then when you get your trout to where you want them, set them on the plate. And if you don't have a meat thermometer to check uh, if they're done, what you do is you take a fork, stick it in the thickest part of the trout, kind of separate it like that. Then when you look inside, it'll all be nice and white. Uh, if you see any like translucent uh, meat, you can see through it. That means it's undercooked and it needs to go on longer. But as you can see here, we got nice white flaky meat ready to eat. Uh, one thing you do got to be careful for, like I've been saying this whole time, is these rib uh, bones. You can see right here. It's so tiny, but it will get you. So, got to be careful, especially if you're feeding this to children. I uh, don't want them choking on anything like that. But once you check it and make sure it's cooked all the way and that there's uh, no rib bones. And if there are, you can just kind of mash it up like this and pick it, pick at it to eat. Uh, it's not how you want to. You typically just want to be able to eat it with a fork, but safety first. And uh, basically once it's uh, all cooked through, you're ready to eat. And then once you make your side, you have yourself a nice little dinner. We have uh, pan fried trout some uh, spinach and rice over here and sugar snap peas so we're gonna dig in uh, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop us a like and a subscribe share this with your friends and uh, be on the lookout for more real deal tips and tricks thanks for watching see you next time alrighty guys if you like this and you want to check out another tips and tricks click on the trout if you want to watch one of our episodes of Real Deal PA Outdoors, go ahead and click on those snap peas. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on the rice and spinach.